Good morning, guys. So today is exciting because we are moving from Tirana to Duras, Albania. And I'm very excited because I will no longer just have this quite small room, which is fine. It was fine. But I get to stay in a penthouse on the beach. So that's definitely an upgrade for really not that much more a week. So let's go there. Nothing could have prepared me for how beautiful this Airbnb is. Check out my penthouse. has another balcony back here and then another balcony oh another balcony over here what this is this is the jackpot of all airbnbs like i'm in a penthouse it's affordable it's more affordable than any apartment i've stayed in what good morning from another beautiful day in Dore. So today is exploring day because I had to work the past few days, which really sucks, but it is absolutely gorgeous out. Just look, look at the world from my penthouse. Amazing, people fishing, dogs running on the beach, children playing in the sand, kind of. There's a lot of seaweed down there, but they're still, they're still doing their thing. They're playing soccer. It's a beautiful day. So we're gonna go run around Dores and see what we can find. So we started our day by heading to the boardwalk. Since it was such a beautiful winter day, it was very crowded. Now, Dernas is definitely more of a summer town for sure. I kept getting asked why I came in the winter, but if you know me, you know the summer is the only time of the year I work somewhere in person, so that isn't really an option for me. I feel like traveling to summer towns in the winter gives you a more personal experience. Okay, so here's some advice. If you're coming to Duras, Albania on a Sunday, get here super early or you're going to be fighting for a parking spot just like everybody else here. It's chaotic. I'm super grateful that we got to walk here, but not everybody has that ability. So keep that in mind. The seafood here is honestly the best I've had in my life so far. Also make sure you make a reservation if you want to eat out by the water on a Sunday. Tables fill up super fast. Hi, Muffin. Hi, Muffin. Baby. <laughs> we have named this dog and she follows us every time she sees us and she owns my heart. Okay, I don't personally advise befriending stray dogs because you could come across some dangerous ones as they are treated very poorly here and just want to protect themselves. We never pet Muffin, but she was just happy to trot alongside of us. We're supposed to go that way. Oh, Muffin, I'm sorry, but we gotta go. I don't know, we probably have to find another way. Google Maps can be wrong often. <laughs> I wanted to go check out these concrete bunkers that I found on Google Maps, so uphill we went. Walking around back streets is one of my favorite ways to learn about a new city and really see the way people live here. There were a surprising amount of smart cars in the area, and I truly feel like there are no rules on the road. Google Maps led me to this abandoned building, which seemed to be the only way to get into the park, which was behind it. It's pretty cool. There's a bunker up there. Spooky. Spooky. Oh yeah, there's a lot. Albania has a pretty crazy history. There's like hundreds of thousands of these bunkers all over the country that were never used. This is kind of like a park, but couldn't really find the entrance to it except for in that abandoned building. Doesn't really look like there's anybody else here either. Oh, there was an upstairs. A lot of bottles. Kind of looks like the entrance got caved in on. You can kind of get into that one, but it's very small. Kind of just looks like uh, not really an area to do anything but take cover in. Okay, so we're gonna try and go to this balcony that like overlooks all of Duras, so let's go there. Guys, there's just like random cows on this hill. Is that a goat? I'm so confused. Is that, a, is that an old man running with a goat? It's so Albanian. I hope you can see them. The goat's just standing all majestically. What is going on up there? There's two goats. There's a field of goats. 
near this abandoned building. There's an entire zoo. <laughs> we walk on, it's none of our business. <laughs> Where do those cows come from? <sighs> there is like one group of people in that restaurant and everyone in the group and the waiter all turned to stare at us at the same time. <laughs> wow, what a view. Look at how big that building is. It just like protrudes over everything. For a second, I thought this was like just residential stuff, but this balcony's back here. Now, this place is truly a must-see. It was a bit of a climb to get up here from the coast, but 100% worth it once you see these views. Stunning, a great place to take pictures as well. I honestly wish we came up here at sunset, but the view from our balcony is pretty amazing as well. After the balcony, we headed back down to the town and took our time going through some of the winding back alleyways. This country has some really colorful buildings and interesting houses to take in. So talkative. Are you talkative? I feel like back alleyways have such a bad name, but I didn't get that vibe here at all. Honestly, I haven't felt unsafe for even a second here since getting to Albania. Now, that's just my own personal experience, but it's a shame that the media paints a different picture of this place. Not everything you see about a country online is what's true. And this is just my perspective as a strange blue-haired American, and I know it could be different for others, but truly, this country is lovely to me. So there's a guy behind me selling things, and he doesn't have like a rack, so he just hung up clothes and bushes, and I think that's really innovative. We walked around the main strip some more, peeking into shops and people watching everyone enjoying either coffees or beverages at cafes, but for us tonight, we wanted to go to a steakhouse. I was only able to find one specifically for steak, but it had a 4.8 rating, so we were on our way. I think it's quite funny that you see a bunch of kids on the street just chilling around with no parents. And yes, you could never because it's just too dangerous. This double parking at Spa because there's only like five spaces is literally hilarious. They just like block everybody in. This steakhouse was definitely worth the rating. I tried bone marrow for the first time and it was delicious, just like the steak I had. Another place that I highly recommend. After dinner, we headed back to our Airbnb to watch the sunset from there. There was a lot of traffic from everyone leaving the beach during these hours, so keep that in mind as well. I'm so happy that we came to explore Duras. It was truly a fantastic experience.